Hey, this is Billy Vega from Billy Vega Scale Model Garage. Uh, this is a photo from 1980 of the first car that I had on the road. It was a 1974 Vega GT. I bought it for $175 with a blown engine. It had the stock four cylinder in it. And, um, ended up picking up a motor for 50 bucks. It was, it was again the, the uh, stock 2300 four cylinder. And ended up putting that together. And uh, that was the first car I had on the road. You notice that the rear quarter panel was primered. It was badly smashed in. Uh, a friend of mine, Greg, had actually pulled it out. And by the time it was finished, it still required a gallon of body filler to get it all straightened it back out. And the front fender was rusted, of course. And uh, I went to a junkyard and picked, picked up a fender for 15 bucks. It was primed in red oxide, which actually uh, matched the paint. <laughs> Matched the paint a little bit. Uh, it was a factory coat, 66 bronze metallic. So it blended in real well. Um, it had these chrome wheels on the back. They're very similar to Kroger's, um, but there's actually Rocket brand. And had white leather belted 60 series tires on the rear and had the stock Vega wheels up front, the GT wheels, but I painted them chrome and then had the stainless trim ring. So anyway, I will be building a model of this, and I will be starting out with just a, a 74 Vega Promo, because there was nothing special about the engine or whatever, so I can get by with not displaying the engine and just using the Promo body. And like I said, I'll be starting out with that. Just the one-piece body. And I did pick up the correct um, scale finishes code 66 bronze uh, paint which will I'll be airbrushing on and then um, the wheels uh, I did get some um, many years ago the place that made them was out of the business but I did get some four spoke like Kruger's and I added a band to them to correct the width to make them the correct 13 by 7s and here's one that I painted with the Reveal chrome paint. And then the wheels for the front are actually 3D printed Vega GT wheels. They have a separate trim ring. Uh, here's one that I've already done. Uh, painted it with the all clad chrome. And then Reveal chrome trim ring. And the bumpers that came on with the promo were actually broken. So these are kit bumpers that I have painted real heavily with the, with the all clad paint and by putting it on heavily it gave it like the aluminum appearance and I, I plan to put black pinstriping on those for the rubber guards um, there's nothing special about the chassis uh, so I'll just be using the stock promo chassis and be weathering it detail painting it uh, the interior I've already separate took the dash out of it and I gotta make like a GT appearance dash. The actual uh, color of the car that I had was like a camel or a tan and it had these plaid type uh, decal inserts and I plan on using some uh, houndstooth decals from the 69 Camaro which look very close to the black and white plaid that was actually in the Vega that I had and I do have another picture that had the correct uh, license plates for it so a friend of mine Robert Doss uh, printed up the correct license plates so I will have those on it like I said I'm hoping this is going to be a fun project won't be much detail to it but still yet to be a lot of work anyway I'll keep y'all updated Billy Vega out